see for chemistry 60 percent of your questions are framed from this then we can take it 20 percent and this 20 percent again right i'll tell you the order of preference and like what chapters you will have to study first so i believe in this 20 80 rule 20 percent of your chapters will help you score 80 percent of the marks right you'll have to study smartly so first we'll talk about organic chemistry of course it's time consuming so you'll have to study it first it has got IUPAC system, the nomenclature, which is completely new to you guys. You have never studied anything like this. For that, a lot of rules are framed, right? Then the preparation of different compounds like uh, methane, ethane, ethyl alcohol, and so on. And the PYQs. Please do not neglect them. I feel around 50% of your paper, I think 60% of your paper has PYQs. For example, this question is frequently asked every year. It's like CH3COOH, that is acetic acid, and C2H5OH, that is ethyl alcohol. When these react, what is formed? CH3COO, C2H5, plus water is also formed, right? So this is ester, and it has a fruity smell. Now, board frames and number of questions with this particular reaction. If you guys have studied it properly, you'll be able to tackle all the questions. They may ask you, mention the reactants which are involved in uh, making of a compound that has fruity smell. Or they may ask, what is formed when acetic acid and ethyl alcohol react? Right? What is the smell of it? So these questions can be framed from this particular reaction. The main idea is that you have to properly learn it, right? Understand what is going on and how is it formed. CH3CO and C2H5, right? And what is left? H and OH. So H2O. Also, when it comes to balancing, it is a little bit difficult for you to do that. But I'll tell you a trick, like how to do that. So don't worry about any of these things. Then we come to study of compounds. It has got HCl, H2SO4, NH3 and HNO3. So I'll take an example of nitric acid. These are the short notes that I have made and you can also purchase them. The link will be given in the description box. There is this success of membership course that I have launched in which all the handwritten notes of every subject is covered. So if you want to buy it, you can do that from the link in the description box. All the subjects like physics, chemistry, biology, history, geography. I covered and I'll complete all the notes, the pending notes by January 1. Also, there are several other ebooks. I'll attach the links of all chemistry reactions ebook, uh, the physics ebook as well. You can just check out my website. You'll come to know that there are a lot of ebooks there. Most important questions in this particular chapter are uh, the laboratory method. They'll ask you how is HNO3 formed or mention the lab reaction. So it is KNO3 plus H2SO4, which gives you KHSO4 plus HNO3. And the temperature is the most important point here. Less than 200 degrees Celsius will only give you HNO3. If you don't mention this, then a straight zero will be given to you. The reactants concentrated H2SO4 is used since it's a strong non-volatile acid. So they may ask you why is concentrated H2SO4 used? Why not dilute? So you'll have to mention it's a strong non-volatile acid or uh, reasoning questions are mostly framed from this theoretical part right on uh, heating on the decomposition of nitric acid what is formed so this is reddish brown fumes right nitric acid obtained in the laboratory slightly yellowish brown due to decomposition of acid they may ask you the reason for the color why is it slightly yellowish brown right and how can we remove the yellow brown tinge by bubbling of air or co2 then these named reactions like oswald's process now this frequently asked question ratio of ammonia to air is 1 is to 10 why higher ratio of air is used in the manufacture of nitric acid that is all stages require oxygen that is why we have kept air in a uh, 10 ratio right then when we come to periodic table and i'll just show you like questions that are asked from here 
all these periodic properties like the atomic radius ionization potential electron affinity you have to uh, learn all the definitions and also they'll ask you the trend like ip increases across a period decreases across a group what happens to the electron affinity it also increases right so these trends are asked and arrangement of the elements are frequently asked then you can tackle rest of the chapters i highly recommend you to make chemistry reaction separate notebook since they will ask you the catalyst temperature promoter and the color learn all of them see make a separate notebook write haber's process see this is haber's process mention the reactants the products and then the temperature the uh, catalyst promoter and the pressure involved and for the balancing part a lot of you are not able to balance the reactions for that i recommend you watching uh, physics wala alag pande sir's video how to balance any chemical equation by physics wala alag pande sir okay in that video you will get the trick on how to balance all the reactions because you can't just mug up all of that plus it's time consuming you'll have to complete the chapter you'll have to complete the exam in 2 hours and for the numericals See, you'll have to focus on the PYQs, and I feel ah uh, these are very basic. Still, if you want me to make a video on this separately, then I'll ah uh, make practice questions. This is what I can do, and also I'll include ah uh, these numericals in my ebook. That is the success of membership course.